So for today's WordPress video, I'm going to show you how you can add a slideshow to your WordPress posts or pages. So you might want to add a slideshow to your posts if you are um, highlighting maybe a trip and you have a bunch of photos that you want to show in a slideshow format or uh, I don't know if you've done a reno on your house and you want to show pictures that way or if you want um, to show uh, portfolio items if you're offering some services like web design uh, any number of things if you're a photographer and you want to show um, some images in a slideshow format so I have three different options for you the first and second slideshow options that I have are just for showing um, images so you can um, click the arrows and go through the different images on the page and then the third option I have is a slide show where you can add text uh, to different areas of the slideshow so let me show you how to do your first one so the first one is actually super easy it is the gallery uh, feature already installed in your WordPress uh, install but to get the slideshow how you activate it is by activating your jetpack plugin so um, so this is what it looks like on the back end but I'm just gonna start from the beginning and show you again how I create that slideshow so if I go to add media and I go create gallery and then I just choose a bunch of images here and on the bottom right if I select create new gallery um, that will put the images on this edit gallery page and uh, you have options if you want to uh, link to attachment page or media file if you want people to see a bigger or, or the full size of your image I'm just going to say no um, I'm going to say actually and then type down here I'm going to add slideshow and uh, and then the size I'm going to say large so uh, depending on your different uh, WordPress installs these sizes are different um, but uh, anyway and it also depends on your actually WordPress themes as well anyway so we uh, will insert this gallery here and so note this only works if you have the Jetpack plugin installed and you'll see it up here on the top left if it is installed. So I'm gonna click update and then refresh my page and the images will have changed slightly because um, I just redid it. So there is the slideshow. And um, so now with this slideshow, there's not a lot of options for um, the design. So you have this black border here and um, it's always gonna look the same. So um, unless your theme itself does some different CSS or your familiar CSS, then you can change kind of the look of this. But um, as another option, here is another plugin. Um, and this one is called the Meta Slider um, WordPress plugin. And this actually plugin lets you use the Nevo Slider, Flex Slider, Coin Slider, or Responsive Slider. So this is what it looks like. Once you've installed this plugin from your plugin section, and then you search for Meta Slider, and make sure you have the right author, it's Matcha Labs. And once you install it in your back end, uh, you will see see whoops let me go here once you install it you'll see this new um, dashboard item called meta slider so if you click on that slider um, or that link you'll see the slider I've already created so I created a slider here and to add a slide you simply click on the button select an image click add to slider and it will add uh, this new image at the bottom. Um, and on the right hand side, you'll see here that you have different options of how the slider displays. They're not too different actually, because they're all um, responsive um, sliders that are available and um, that they've just made, uh, put together in this one plugin. So they're not all that different. You can select your width and your height, but I always go to advanced options and I always select 100% uh, width option and um, and uh, yeah, you can, and there's some other 
options that you can have for the delay if you want to hover on pause um, and that kind of stuff and so at the very bottom here once you save you're going to copy this short code copy it and then you're going to go to the page where you want to have your um, slider and you're going to paste that short code. So um, if you're not familiar with short codes, uh, if you have something that looks like this in your visual editor, it will automatically know to display um, the code associated with that. So um, again, if I go to view this page, this is what the slideshow looks like and so I just added that last image right there and so uh, you'll also see that these slideshows are all responsive which means that when I um, resize the page or if I'm on a mobile phone or if I'm on a tablet these actually do display pop properly so that's important nowadays with um, web technologies and uh, the mobile space. And this very last one um, is a plugin called Fluid Responsive Slideshow. So that is by um, a few authors um, here. And um, once you install that plugin, you'll see a new menu item here called FR Slideshow. So once you click on that slideshow, um, you have um, the option, it kind of works a similar way. You add new slides, I've already added three here. And um, the slide title will actually show up in your, in your box, um, slide title. And then you can set your image. It's taking a long time. And um, so I'll just grab this one right here, choose image. And then you can add some text here. This is the paragraph text. And actually you have the visual editor here so you can add um, quite a lot in this box. And you have the options of placing the text at different places in the slideshow. Center might be a good option because it um, just looks nicer when you resize it. And you can set the width if you want it to be 2 twelfths of the column or if you want a full column, 12 out of 12, then that's um, how it looks there. And uh, you have some options for padding if you want to put some space around your um, slideshow. I'll just do full width and then you have options of what your button looks like and uh, your text background, your content and actually you can choose not to display text at all or a button at all. So I'm going to save this slide as is. Oh and the other thing I want to show you is slideshow options and um, they give you, or here you can see a preview of what your slideshow looks like. So I just added this last one here. And um, you also get some a few options for skins if you want to change the look. Let's change it to modern. I actually haven't seen what this looks like. So I'll save the options now. And it's not too obvious. I guess these arrows are now the top left and um, these buttons at the bottom have changed. So that's the modern look. And um, here, this is also I put as full width, but you can actually specify the width and the height of the slideshow and a few timing things, options. And also, um, if you know CSS, you can add your own CSS. So. Um, this is a really sophisticated um, plugin as well. And up at the top, you'll see this is the short code that they want you to use, similar to the other plugin. Just copy that whole um, code right there. Control C. And then if you go back to your page, you'll see that at the bottom here, uh, that's where I put this, the um, code for that slideshow. And that's it. Those are three different options for slideshows that you can add to your posts or your pages. And um, I hope you found one of these useful.